have. Um, Isaiah 28, 10, 12. Isaiah 28. Okay, he's saying 10 through 12. Okay, so now I know what he's, he's quoting Isaiah 28, 10 through 12. And he's using this to prove his theology on what he's doing. And actually he is proving that he's blaspheming God. And that's exactly what this verse is talking about. And I didn't even know it said blasphemy until I translated it this morning. I thought it was just mocking and it's not talking about God. And I'm going to show y'all exactly how I came to this conclusion. I'm going to leave the links for everyone to do it themselves. So listen to this. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. Uh so Marcus believes this is God talking, first of all, because Marcus has not. This is why I said that, you know, Paul was mocking him when he said, study and show yourself approved. He was literally mocking him. And then he said to divide the word. To Yeah, something like that. You're not supposed to divide. You literally are supposed to Matthew 4, 4, eat every every word that came out the mouth of god this is how we this is how we'll know the truth we need every single word we can get that came out the mouth of god we piece it together it is like a puzzle that's the most that's the smartest thing i have heard marcus say so i'm gonna show you exactly how i came to this translation and I'm not doing all of them because I'm not going to make this a million years old. But I translated it for someone on my thing today. Let me just show you. I made Somebody commented and I already translated it. And this is a translation I got, okay, for Isaiah 28, 11. For blasphemy language and in language other or another will speak to the people this. Okay, so I, I think this is another. I don't think it's other. I think it's for blasphemy language and in for blasphemy language and in the language another someone else will speak to this people. So you know what? In fact, it can't be both and I put them together. I know it's it's another because this is the same another that Yasha talks about in John, um, John verse 5, 39 through 44, he says, another shall come and people will accept this one. He's talking about Paul. Um, this another is also who he talks about with the sheep. When I think it's in John 10. I'm not for sure. I think it's John 10. He said that his sheep know his voice and they will not follow another okay so this to me the uh, another is very important so i'm just gonna show you exactly how i got this since people are gonna oh no no our our um brilliant marcus can't be wrong no we're not supposed to put our trust in me and literally i make mistakes every day and i'm learning them okay i'm not going to show you the ones that that are right like this four is right but this was stammering what they put is mocking here they're they're sugarcoating it it's really um with blast blasphemy and i'm gonna show you that because that's what i found out today so every time i study i always find something new you know because it's really hard to translate the entire bible so i can just do what i do and i always find out something new and i always find out something the scribes have changed this is why you actually warn of the scribes and see, I had already did this here, but it's blasphemy, okay? What else did they change? Well, for one thing, they added God's word, God. They put, added he to it, and they put lips, okay? You can go do this yourself, but this is actually languages. But then they also, this see this language is in here. Not sure which, um, well, Anyways, I'll just do it so you can see. I don't know why they put lips. And I don't even know if this translator, this translator is 100% correct. I'm just showing you what I got. Okay, so that's language. Um, you can do, do part of this. But I want to say, so this another, which I got other here, but I do believe it's an, another. 
then it put he making you believe it's God because in many of the ones that put the Lord or it put God, now it's saying he because it's going off a few lines, you know, after I think or way before when when Yasha Yava is speaking to his people. But this is no, this is another speaking to him. So I want you to see that he is nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in this. Okay. So it's another, how's my computer doing that? Will speak. Let's go here. So y'all know he's not in he, here. Oh, this was other. I want you to see it doesn't say he in it either. But it's going to say other, which is another. I want you to see I'm not just making this up, y'all. Will speak. To. This is really not important. I just want you to see, I didn't, I didn't, there's nowhere it says he, no, this is another is going to speak to these people. And, um, it, it's talking about Saul and it's talking about the ones that do not believe the word of God, because, you know, Yasha, which is the word of God manifested in the flesh. Remember the word is God and was with God and was God. Um, and those that believe God's word, well, know that we're not supposed, they told us not to trust the teachings of the Pharisees. Paul was a Pharisee. Yes, of course, he came with the real good story. We all want to believe. We all know God's forgiving. And if we repent of our sins, he's willing to forgive us. One thing, go look. Go look this for yourself. Paul confessed to, he confessed to being a sinner over and over again, but he didn't repent of it. How you know he didn't repent of it? He, he continued to do it. This is why he, he said, um, he, he, he was saying that it was no longer him that sinned, but the sin within him. No, he was still sinning. It was impossible for him to stop sinning because he didn't have the Holy spirit. But anyway, that wasn't my point. Um, people need to research their self. I'm gonna leave these links and I hope y'all do some research. God bless.